Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about advanced routing in Google Cloud VPC, talking about subnetworks and firewall rules. So let's get into the video. Now we start with an introduction of VPC pairing. First up, a quick revision. What is VPC? VPC is Virtual Private Cloud. Now it's a virtual version of a physical network. Instead of switches and routers, we have vSwitches, vRouters. We've covered that. And VPC network is used for connectivity, mainly among the compute options like Compute Engine, Kubernetes Engine, all those instances. VPC is used to provide a connection between them. Now the new term over here is peering. Peering allows for internal IP connectivity between two different VPC networks. Now, internal IP connectivity is different from the ex using external IP addresses for connection. It has its own advantages, which we'll cover in a little bit. Now, internal IP connectivity, that is VPC pairing, can be between two networks which are in the same project or same organization, or even if they're in different projects. Like in this activity guide, we'll be using two different projects and establishing a peering connection between them. And this VPC pairing allows for workloads in different networks to communicate using internal IP addresses. Now, uh, as I said, this has an, some advantages over using external IPs. Mainly, there's the cost first up. So we know that ingress cost is nil in GCP, but egress has its cost. So wherever you're receiving network traffic, you'll need uh, you'll need to pay for. You'll not need to pay for that but sending traffic to an external IP will cost you. Since we are using internal IPs on both ends, VPC pairing will have very less charges, like apart from the basic network charges that are levied everywhere. Apart from that, there'll be no charges since we're only using ingress, so no egress charges. So that's money saved. Plus there's more security since you're not going outside of your network at all, just using internal IPs to communicate. And again, since we're in the same organization, there's bound to be lesser latency as well. So this is a little architecture to show that this is a project, two projects, A and B, in the same organization. And we're using peering, peer AB, peer BA. There's two connections established between network A and network B in project A and project B respectively. So this is pretty much what we'll be doing in this activity guide. So let's move forward. In this guide, we'll be setting up projects, custom networks, setting up a network pairing session and then connecting two VMs in different projects just as shown in the diagram. Documentation links, we have VPC networks, how to use VPC, VPC pairing, setting up the pairing and Google Cloud Console. Prerequisite, we have, you need to have a Google Cloud free tier account as usual and you need to have two separate projects. Usually we uh, make do with just one. This time we'll be needing two different projects. So make sure you have two projects created. If you don't have that, you can go to our previous activity guide, which tells us how to create a project. So first up, we'll be creating networks. So we need two projects. First, we'll work in the first project. Pro let's call it project one. So we need to go and select project one and then activate cloud shell in that. So we'll go and do that. Once we're in the console dashboard, we can verify that we're in the correct project through either the project info or from over here. If you're not, then you can go to this drop down menu and select the one in which you want to work. For now, it will be the first project. So once the correct project has been selected, we can go ahead and activate Cloud Shell by clicking on this button in the top ribbon. This will provision the Cloud Shell machine. Once again, reconfirm, we're in the correct project. First up, we'll be creating a network inside of this. So the command for this is gcloud compute network create. Followed by the name of the network, we'll call it network A. And then what subnet mode do we want? Do we want this to be auto mode or custom mode? So we'll be going with custom mode for now. So the command is gcloud compute network create name of the network, then subnet mode. 
we'll going we'll be going with custom so press enter now we can see that the network a has been created and subnet mode is custom and subnet is the next thing that we need to create inside of this so we'll be creating a subnet inside of the network that we just created the command for that is similar gcloud compute networks subnets create now this will be followed by the name of the subnet that we want so this is inside of network a so we'll call it network a central then we need to specify which network it is inside of so we have just one network that we have created network a this will be followed by the range and finally the region as we know that networks in google cloud platform they are global resources but subnets are regional resources so we need to specify which region they are part of so this will be the command gcloud compute networks subnets create name of the subnet then which network you are creating it inside range and then the region and as we can see there's a little warning they're telling us that instances will not be reachable unless you change the firewall rules need to allow tcp and icmp and we'll do that the next that's the next thing that we're doing and as we can see over here network a central that has been created the subnet and next we'll enable ssh will allow these firewall rules so that our subnet and the vm instance it's all accessible So firstly, we'll be creating a VM, the command for which is again, gcloud compute, since it's inside of a compute. We'll go with gcloud compute instances create, then name of the instance, we're naming it VM A. Then we need to specify which zone it is in. We're working in the US Central 1 region. We'll specify us central 1a as our zone for this vm then the network and the subnet needs to be specified we've created a network called network a and the subnet called network a central so we'll just specify that over here so that the vm is in the correct place So this is the command for creating the virtual machine instance inside of this network. We have gcloud compute instances create name of the instance then zone us central 1a. You can go with a b c d whichever one you want. Network will be network a and subnet would be network a central. we can see that the virtual machine instance has been created in us central 1a and the machine type we didn't specify so by default they've given us n1 standard one we have an external ip and it's running right now now final step as we discussed we need to change the firewall rules enable ssh so that we can access this and we can connect to it properly so we'll create firewall rules using gcloud compute firewall rules create now we need to give this a name we'll call it network a firewall because this is a firewall for network a obviously in this uh, we need to specify what network it's part of network a and what rule we want to 
want over here that will be allowing TCP and ICMP. So allow TCP 22 and ICMP. The whole command here being gcloud compute, firewall rules create, name of the firewall, which network and what rules. I will miss that double minus over here whenever we are going for a specifying a new field we need to go with the double hyphen over there as we have discussed earlier single hyphen is to separate part of the same command any new specification like you are specifying what machine type which region anything you have to start with a double minus so we did not use that over here we will go ahead press enter and the firewall rule will be created And we can see a firewall rule by the name of network A firewall has been created inside of network A direction ingress and what it does is it's, it allows TCP ICMP and it's not disabled. Priority is set as 1000 which is the default. So guys this was our expert from team K21 Academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification and Demo. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash gcppro02. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now. Select an event date. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on proceed ahead. And after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right. and. Add it to your calendars and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.